Ana wakilalamikia kukerwa na wenye malori ya kubeba mchanga ambao wanadai wanawahangaisha. Wanasema vumbi linawaletea magonjwa. Kemani Mbugwa anatangamana na wakazi hao na tunaungana naye moja kwa moja. Na mbabu na kupata vizuri tuko katika eneo la Kinka katika ni eneo kubwa la utawala lakini hapa ni katika mjiji moja mji mmoja ambao wanasema kwamba watu ambao wanabeba uh, watu wa malori ambao wanapita katika njia hii wamewaletea shida kubwa sana na masaibu. Tuko ndani ya nyumba moja ambapo uh, mwenye hii nyumba anasema kwamba vumbi ambayo imekuwa ikitoka kwa barabara ikiletwa na yale malori yanabeba mchanga imewaadhiri sana kwamba hata bibi yake amepata uh, magonjwa hata mtoto wao um, kwa sasa hivi uh, muda mchacho ambao uliopita kama saa moja hivi walikuwa na walikuwa wamewasha ma, ma, uh, mataa katika barabara wamewasha moto kufunga hii barabara wamesema kwamba wataki yale malori yapitie hapa tuko na mwenyeji wa hapa ambaye ni mama mmoja ambaye anatuambia kwamba kuna na shida kubwa sana kwa sababu ya vumbi mama tuambia unaitwa nani na shida ambayo imekuwa hapa imekuwa ik... Hey, me kukumba vipi wewe? Mimi naitwa Mama Abraham. Nimekaa hapa kwa muda wa miaka saba. lakini ile shida nimepata kwa hii nyumba ni ya magonjwa magonjwa mengi. Sana sana sikia sauti yangu haieleweki. Nilikuwa nimeziba sauti, haikuwa inatoka kama miaka mbili. Nikatumia madawa Kenyatta Hospital, kashindikana pesa zimeenda kuenda. Watoto ndiao hospitali kila saa maoma hayaeleweki kukoa nimepata shida nyingi sana kwa hii nyumba na waweza tuonesha uh, shida ambayo uko nayo vumbi tumeona ni nyingi sana katika hii uh, katika hili nyumba unaweza tu uh, tutuonesha hapa katika nyumba yako naona hapa kuna fridge hapa tu, tuingie tu tuingie tu hii nyumba yangu ukiangalia si nyumba tena hii sasa tunasema ni kama jikoni lakini ukiangalia hii jikoni yangu haiye nimekaa hapa nikaamua kuhamia nyumba nyingine sababu singeweza kukaa na hii vumbi hii ni friji yangu uniambie hii friji nitaweza weka maziwa niweke mkate niweke kila kitu na wewe mgeni ukuje ufungue ukunywa hata maji hapa tuko na shida mbaya mbaya kabisa na, na ukitazama hapa babu utaona kwamba ni wako na shida kubwa na, na tumeenda katika nyumba nyumba, nyumba zingine ambazo uh, kuna vumbi nyingi sana tuongee katika uh, hii ni nyumba ya mtu ambaye amejenga na amesema kwamba amekaa hapa kwa miaka saba tangia mwaka wa elfu mbili na kumi na mbili na huyu ndiye mzee mbaye ni mwenye nyumba uh, mzee tuambie hapa umeishi miaka ngapi na hii shida imekuwa kwa uh, miaka ngapi hapa nimeishi miaka sasa hii ni mwaka wangu tangu 2010 na tangu 2012 nimejaribu kumaliza hii nyumba lakini nimekuwa shida ni malori. Tumejaribu kwenda kesi kotini every time ni machakos, nimekuwa joined more than twice. Tunaambiwa tuka decide kufollow sheria, tumeenda kungojea sasa wenye malori na wenye kweli walishirikiana. So wanaenda direct, wanafanya vitu wanafanya kotini and I would like to appeal to all government officials kindly. They assist even the president in fighting this vice because this road is an estate road but now imekuwa turned to a road a commercial road because it's being used by lorries of over 30 tons which which i don't need is a, i don't see whether it is true that they are claiming this is a road as you can see like this these are the dust this person just disappeared so we live in the dust mimi naishi na watoto wangu hapa naishi downstairs tukahama hapa hata hapa chini sasa is unbearable so Kindly we request all the associate officials because the majority went out to Nema we are waiting the, the reply from the Nema officials we are waiting for the officials from the government to assist us because this is us we are the mercy of all the officials concerned on our health kwa sababu sasa hii kila mtu kwangu anakuwa mgonjwa every week i don't miss a patient with our mean salaries in the salaries in the government i don't think you can make it maintaining this hata kwa sababu kupata mpangaji hapa uwezi pata na ningeomba kwa sababu au wenye malori wanajua kitu wanafanya is illegal and they are aware but simply because they are using money and we request that these flood waters of corruption that Uru is fighting they are going to touch on the utawala ground and utawala people are going to have peace and the president i think will address these through his ministers because i am sure the voice of the people is the voice of god and i'm sure this one is going to touch somebody whoever it touches we tunashukuru sisi all the the media wenye umefika hapa because we sisi ni wanyonge tumejaribu kuenda kotini hiyo kesi it has gone in a delay
every time adjournment, every ad adjournment, we don't know how, whether it's money changing hands because we don't have evidence, but what we want is a clean environment for our kids, why is she? Hakuna kitu tunayo kama mali sama anything. We want just peace, a clean environment, na tupewe haki yetu. Hiyo ndiyo tunawamba tu. Sani sana. Uh, ni shida kubwa mbayo wa wakazi wa hapa wamekuwa na, na ukiangalia hapa katika uh, upande wangu wa kushoto siji kapa utaiza kuona vizuri lakini um, kuna, kuna watu mbao wanaishi katika hili eneo na ukiangalia unaona vumbi kwamba hini, 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 hini ni dirisha ambalo liko katika eneo ambalo watu wanaishi kuna watu mbao wameandika nguo pale lakini wanasema kwamba uh, vumbi inakuja kwa sisi, uh, siku ya leo wameza kuanika nguo zao kwa sababu wamefunga barabara uh, na hakuna malori ambayo wataweza kupita leo lakini uh, hapo baadaye walikuwa wanaandika nguo alafu ile vumbi inakuja inachafua nguo zaidi uh, na kuna watu wengi uh, katika ili eneo ambalo wame, wame ili eneo limebaki mahame kwa sababu kuna mpaka shule ambayo ilikuwa na watoto lakini sasa watoto hawezi kwenda shule uh, leo wakajio hapa wameweza kufunga hii barabara wakawasha moto tulikuwa hapo baadaye umeona uh, katika runinga yako tulikuwa tume, tume, tumeongea na wao wakiwa katika ile ile um, barabara ya Kinka Airways ambayo pia imekuwa na shida sana ni masaibu ambayo wamepitia wacha ni uh, nyuma moja katika uh, hii nyumba ya huu mzee ambao tulikuwa tumeingia uh, hapo awali hii ni nyumba moja ambayo inafaa kuwa inakodishwa ukiangalia hapa chini eh uni mchanga ambao umetoka huko nje umeletwa hapa na malori ambayo yanabeba mchanga kutoka eneo la Katani na utadhani kwamba ni mtu alimwaga mchanga hapa makusudi lakini uh, huu mchanga umeletwa hapa na malori ambayo yanatoka uh, katika barabara uh, barabara hii ambayo inaenda Katani ambayo wanasema wakitumia hii barabara uh, wanaogopa kupitia katika eneo la la, we, la way bridge huko Mlolongo ambapo wanapotelea um, way bridge ambapo watalipa ushuru ikiwa wamepitisha kile kiwango ambacho wanafaa kwa wamebeba kwa hivyo hiyo ni shida ambayo tumekuwa tukiangalia na tutazidi kuifuatilia uh, kutoka hili eneo la utawala uh, babu